Today I've got a couple repairs to show you on vertical blinds and I split them into a couple videos. This one I'm going to be converting to a wand, but I'll put that part on another video. Uh, what I've got to show you here is I've got a broken clip. And I can kind of hang something on there, but it's not really right here. So I'm going to show you what you can do if you didn't have another clip. Over on this side, I've actually got quite a bit of overlap onto the wall. And again, I'm going to be getting rid of the chain and the cord anyway, since the cord's kind of a choke hazard. What I'm going to do is recover the peg here from this side, since this overlaps the wall considerably. What I'm going to do is hold this over with one finger and then pop it out like so. And I want to make sure the teeth aren't broken. And there's a little gear piece in there also. I'm just going to leave the gear piece in there in case we ever wanted to add another wand piece, but we really don't need it. Now on this side again, I'm going to hold it with one finger and pop it out. And we're going to look up in there and make sure the piece of the gear is still in there. And it is, you can see the, the gear there. So now I'm going to take my new blind piece and just snap it into place and we're good to go. Anyway, that's how you can replace the, the blind gears and the stem and the gear inside if you needed to. If the little clone gear piece came out, you can hold it in place with, with your piece and put it up together, kind of all together. And if these are out of step, you can kind of turn them by hand, like so, or with a pair of pliers. Anyway, that's how to repair the blind gears and stems. flashlight video today. What I have is one stubborn blind gear. Everything turns except for this one. What I do is replace the gear there. What it has is this little little cone gear right here and so what we're going to do is pop this one out and you can either pop the blind slat down or you can actually pop this over. You want to examine the teeth here to make sure nothing's broken off there and it does appear like one here is worn there. And then you can also look up at the tooth or the comb and make sure that's okay. And that actually looks okay. I don't have another comb, another of these gears with me. What I'm going to do is spin this run around. I'm going to take it off of the blind slat. And instead of putting that side in, I'll put the opposite, opposite side in first. So I'll clip it on like this. And then press this into place here. There we go. And at least now that one messed up gear is not sitting directly against the gear and everything does exactly what it's supposed to do and I just kind of got lucky on that one it doesn't always work out that way if that happened to you and uh, that one was critical for you to use what you might do is swap that with like if you look at your other side like this one's not 
covering anything, any window. It's just kind of overlapping the wall. I might take the one from here instead and swap it with that one as a way to get through it instead of having to order a new one. But anyway, that's how to replace the cone gear. And then check for rotation, make sure everything's working good. And we're all set there. Good to go. Thank <laughs> you.